Hello, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is the ministry that gives you an opportunity to ask a Bible question. So if you have a Bible question, email it to me, and I'll do my best to give you a biblical answer. And I'll give you the email address at the end of the broadcast where you can send it. Right now, we do have a question from a listener who writes, Is it wrong during the virus outbreak to rely on God? What I mean is, yes, to take certain precautions, but to have faith that whatever happens as a Christian is in God's will, to not go overboard and basically rely on faith in God. The Bible does say that Jesus holds the key to death and hell. And <clears throat> the questioner makes some very good points. And I, I agree that ultimately, we need to trust God because Jesus does hold the keys to death, which means that we should not panic because we will not die before God's time. That's true, but that does not give us a license to be reckless either because then you're not trusting God. You are basically daring God. It's sort of like <clears throat> when the devil took Jesus to the high or to the temple and said, jump off. Jump off, Jesus, because it is written that God will give his angels charge over you and they will protect you. You won't dash your foot against a stone. So go ahead and jump. No, Jesus said, no, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. So there's sometimes a very fine line between trusting God and tempting God, putting God to the test. We never want to do that. You don't want to sit out in the middle of the freeway and read a newspaper and say, well, I'm just trusting God. No, you are tempting God. We are to trust God and do what is right, as the scripture says. <clears throat> but also, it is biblical to be wise as a serpent. The Bible also says that. I think of the apostle Paul when the Jews in Jerusalem were trying to kill him. He didn't walk through downtown Jerusalem at noon during daylight and say, you know, I'm trusting God. I know the Jews here are out to kill me and they, they all know who I am, but I'm walking down the streets of downtown Jerusalem and I'm waving at them and I'm saying, I'm trusting God. He didn't do that. Instead, he was let down over the wall in a basket at night and he escaped with his life. And the same thing happened with the spies in Jericho. Remember the two Hebrew spies in Jericho? They did their work, and then, in order to escape the king who was out to kill him and knew that they were somewhere in the city, they escaped over the wall in a basket. I believe it was a basket, but they escaped over the wall at night, and they got away. They were not presumptuous. They didn't walk down the streets of Jericho, you know, passing the king and his officials waving and glibly saying, hey, I'm trusting God. Here I am. Here we are. The Hebrew, the Hebrew spies that you're looking for, well, you come and get us. We're trusting God. They didn't do that. That would have been presumption. Now, it is true that God is sovereign and that we will not die till he gives the okay, but that promise somehow works in harmony with us using common sense and good caution. We should never avoid trouble if the only way to do that is to violate God's word. We should never avoid persecution and martyrdom even if the only way to do that is to avoid or is to violate God's word. But if we can avoid trouble within the boundaries of scripture, I think God expects us to do that. And so being cautious during this time of, uh, of this virus that is spreading is a smart thing to do. It is a godly thing to do. If you are one who is at high risk and you need to stay indoors, then stay indoors. If you have to wear a mask, then wear a mask. Take whatever precautions the doctors say you should take while trusting God all the way. And God will work those two things together. They are not opposed to each other. God expects us to use common sense. God expects us to use good caution. I hope that helps. If you have a question for me, send it to scripture verse by verse at gmail.
www.thinkingmusicgroup.com. Until next time, so long.